this is spalted beech and as you can see it makes a very very nice pen case All the planing's done. I've just set up the router, so I'm ready to router. So there's a lot of things to keep in mind. Now what I've done, I split the wood for a reason. Now this one piece that I split and I've marked it. The one side is going to be the base and the other side is going to be the lid. And if you open them, the wood will match. The lid gets routed on three sides and the base gets routed on two sides. Okay, so let's start routering. I'm happy with the progress and I'll show you the side profile. So the next step before I cross cut is to do all the sanding in its lens and let the sanding begin. That's just about all the cutting done. All I need to do now is cut the end pieces and then I'm ready for gluing. Now it's just about organizing the workflow and then I can start gluing. So the hinge side goes to the back and then I choose two end caps, put a bit of glue on either side and clamp it together. There you go, this one is clamped. The masking tape on either side has two purposes. One to make up for the lid spacing because remember it's a fraction of the hair shorter and secondly the tape masks the lid so that the glue doesn't glue the lid as well started the assembly process I did the single just for a test and I did the double for a test I insert the pin boxes in there or the pin cases and then I have a drilling hole for the pins that ends up to be the hinges so I put one of these on either side I make sure that the hinge side is to the back. I draw both sides. I insert the, the pin and I just sand it off on the sander. So I'll just fast forward through the whole process and I'll see you on the other side. As you can see, all the boxes are assembled. 
And now for the final sanding, just rounding the corners. And now for the oiling. I'm going to oil one and show you. Look how this brings out the grain. The wood comes alive. <laughs>